so hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here please do not forget to hit the subscribe button like this video and share it to your friends and your loved ones my name is Opsi. thank you guys for tuning in once again i have a fragrance video for you guys today i'm going to be talking about spring fragrances and these are fragrances that i haven't actually seen anyone talk about quite recently but i'm going to be showing you guys about six fragrances here they are all niche fragrances i think that these can actually work on both male and female but i also believe that they lean a tad bit more feminine in my opinion but yeah i'm just going to be showing you guys the fragrances i have here and if you like to see this kind of video then make sure you keep on watching so the first fragrance i'll be showing you guys in this video is from the house of Widian. i actually discovered this house through a friend i think the most popular fragrance from this brand that a lot of people love and mostly the men is the one called london and i feel like the london is more like leathery it's more it's it is more masculine in my opinion but this is new york as you can see with the drawing the statue on the bottle it's a very nice musky creamy woody scent i feel like it's very sensual i feel like this can evoke a lot of memories in my opinion i also get a bit of fruitiness at the opening notes so there's something fruity here i don't know if there's citruses in here I get a bit of pineapple but I might be wrong that there's pineapple in here but there's just something that is tangy like it gives me that sour that sour feel but fruity sweet but then it dries down into a very nice woody creamy musky scent it's very long lasting I don't see it as a huge uh it's not a beast mode fragrance so i'm not going to classify this as a beast mode fragrance i would rather say that it's a skin scent that's at least that's what i get from the fragrance whenever i wear it on me i get long hours out of this but they're not like a wild there's not there's no wild projection from this fragrance if you over spray which i tend to do you might get a huge projection but i don't think that it's that kind of fragrance yeah but i don't think that it's that kind of fragrance where like is the whole room is going to be smelling like this but it's a very gorgeous scent it's very beautiful perfect for this weather especially because it's not too hot it's not too cold so you definitely want something a bit fruity something a bit you know floral maybe a tad bit fresh a tad bit but you know me i don't really like i'm not a fan of fresh fragrances i really like a bit of woodiness and a bit of spiciness in there which i feel like for me even if it's not extremely spicy but i like the effect of the fruit in here i'm going to leave all the notes on the screen for you guys to see i like how it really smells it's such a gorgeous fragrance it's definitely one i think that people are sleeping on it's Widian new york if i did not mention this is Widian new york it's a gorgeous scent it's a 50 ml but it's very long lasting it's and i think all the fragrances from this brand are all extra the perfume so they definitely have more um, oil concentration which kind of makes it last even longer so yeah Widya New York so now my next fragrance that I'm going to show you is from the house of the merchant of Venice this is one house that I see not because of the scent but because of the bottle it has a very nice packaging the bottle is very gorgeous the box is also very gorgeous it's a stunning presentation in my opinion this one is called Imperial Imperial Emerald I mean, I think that I'm beginning to like the color green. If you know me, it's like I feel like green. Just, <laughs> I feel like green just works with my skin tone. But yeah, this is again still in the same musky creamy family. But this is a bit more. I spray this on my skin and it's absolutely gorgeous. I feel like this is for my boss babes. If you want to go for like a very nice dinner occasion or a corporate event and you just want to smell like yeah, you have your shit together, you have your life together, you have money in the bank, you know, everything is going on smoothly for you. You're driving a range or a BM or a Mercedes Benz. Like this is just what I expect you to smell like. In my opinion, it's such a stunning scent. Ah, it's so beautiful. I don't know, I have no words to describe this fragrance than it's just beautiful i'm sorry about the lighting because i'm trying to use the natural lights but i see that it is a bit shaky right now but yeah um this is such a gorgeous scent you guys i think that a lot of people are sleeping on this house and on this fragrance this is definitely one to have especially in this season it's very long lasting it smells amazing it's very alluring it's very sensual 
this again i feel it's it's not a beast mode fragrance it's definitely one that would last very long has a good sillage as well people are going to smell you for sure with this one because it has more spiciness i keep this one in the same family like the widian but i feel like this one has more character has more spiciness so you get like different facets of this particular fragrance i feel like the way it smells on the paper strip is way different from how it smells on my screen so yeah the next fragrance still in the same house from the same house the merchants of venice you can see that the bottle is the same but then obviously the packaging is different you guys these people do very nice bottling i'm not even gonna lie this is called grand teatro la venice <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it please pardon me but this is a stunning one so this one is more creamy this is more this actually to be honest this actually reminds me of um Sergio's Damat Bianca even though Damat Bianca is a bit more intense in my opinion but this is more on the airy side this is very airy this is very musky creamy just I, I, very floral I just get a lot of muskiness from this one like Maybe there's a lactonic note in here that I do not know about, but I think this is a gorgeous one. I do not really see this performing so much on me. I think it's a very nice everyday scent. I think it's a nice workwear scent because it's very calming, extremely calming. If you want to even just have like a Netflix and chill at home kind of scent, this is also a very gorgeous one. It's not overpowering, it's not overbearing. This is a crowd pleaser as well. People would definitely like this one. This is a safe scent to wear. Yeah, I like this one. But again, as I said, I don't think that the performance is as great as the other one. It's still a very gorgeous scent in my opinion and it's nice for this weather as well so the next one i'm going to be talking about is by byredo of course everybody knows byredo and this is called la tulip the first time i smelled this fragrance i wasn't really impressed i don't know why i was not so impressed again we all know that byredo fragrances don't really last as long so hmm. but but la tulip is a very gorgeous one i don't know if i'm in the era or if i'm in my feminine era where like i'm liking like more florals and more like calm fresh airy scents i do not know but i think that is perfect for this weather la tulip is a very nice floral scent very very nice i'm not a fan of rose rosy fragrance like pure rose fragrances if it's not mixed with wood i don't want to wear it <laughs> if it's not mixed with wood if it's not mixed with tobacco i don't want to wear it i've seen that i do not really like rosy fragrances because i feel like they all smell the same way there's just that one particular scent when you you just know a rose fragrance when you see one but you see like other notes other floral notes like jasmine like lavender all these other notes that just actually add character to a fragrance lily of the valley they actually like calm a fragrance and that's what i get from this one i don't know the notes in here again but it's just a very nice floral scent i think that this is a perfect you know elegant feminine scent i would want to smell this on a high class woman i'd want to smell this on a bus babe it's just screaming like not doing too much but then yeah i know that you are here like you're present but i think that this is one to have in your collection if you want to like smell expensive if you want to smell like you're on the road to being a billionaire then get Latuli Barredo. Again, I am not going to boast about the longevity of this fragrance just because I don't know why they don't actually last long. Nonetheless, it's still a gorgeous scent. The next one, which again, I have not seen anyone talk about. Oh my God, the lighting is going crazy. Maison Reb Rebachi and it's called Jasmine Satin. This is a very, very, very nice Jasmine fragrance, you guys. If you're looking for that perfect fragrance with a jasmine in it this is beautiful this is absolutely stunning when i say it is perfect for this weather it is perfect again it's not just the jasmine it's like there's something extra that just makes it very very alluring there's something that just makes it very elegant there's something that just makes it feel like you're wearing something expensive i like the fact that they call it jasmine satin because it kind of gives it character it's like wearing a silk dress 
<laughs> I can just picture myself wearing a silk dress and wearing this fragrance. I think that it goes perfectly together. It's stunning. It is stunning. What? People are sleeping on fragrances on Maison Rebachi. Like, I have never seen anyone talk about this. It's beautiful. And I think that you guys should check it out. This is 100ml. Again, I don't know the price of this one, but I think it is a beautiful scent. But I think I, I'm getting, um, maybe there's like, maybe I can get some like orange blossoms in here. I think there's probably orange blossom. I think obviously there's jasmine. There's definitely vanilla in here. And so many other nice notes that just kind of make this fragrance a wholesome, beautiful scent. Now this is one. I just saw this one in Hungary recently. God, the lighting. This is called Parfums de Elma. De Elma. Parfums de Elma. I don't know how it's pronounced, but this is, first of all, a round of applause for the bottle. I mean, I like bottles. I like when the bottles are nice. This is gorgeous. Again, I don't know if it's my nose, but I'm getting like something fruity. I don't know how to describe the scent. No lies. I get something fruity for sure. There's probably pineapple here. I don't know. Again, pineapple is my favorite fruit, so maybe I'm just happy to smell pineapple everywhere. But it's stunning. There's something fruity at the top note, but then as it dries down, it's drying down into something very expensive. That's all I can like when it's a luxury fragrance, this is it. Yeah, this is, is beautiful. It's beautiful. I'm lost for words. I don't know what to tell you guys. That just just go and get your nose on it. Of course, there are prices, so I'd rather that you actually sample these fragrances first, just so that you don't you know spend your money on something that you don't like. If you're not the one that likes floral fragrances, if you don't like fruity fragrances, then maybe you might not like these fragrances. So, but I think that they're very stunning. All these fragrances are crowd pleasers. All these fragrances are fragrances that people would like to smell on you. It's not something that will throw you off. It's not overpowering. It's not overbearing. It's not choking. They are not beast mode fragrances, but they are fragrances that would linger on for a very long time. The performances are amazing. Longevity is on point. But this is one, this is this is one that I feel like you should definitely get your nose on. And I definitely get pineapple at the top note. But now when it dries down, it dries down into something very woody, very musky. It's something that gives it character, that makes it stand out. It's not your average musky creamy scent. But you get something fruity, floral, aromatic, it's beautiful. And it's extra the perfume, so definitely it's going to last all day on your skin. I think it's a very nice wedding fragrance. Okay, maybe not as the bride, but maybe as the guest, the wedding Yes, I think this is gorgeous. And if you're single and you're trying to get yourself a man at a wedding, then this is probably the fragrance that you need to wear. The last fragrance I want to talk about, I have heard a lot about Tamin, 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 but I haven't actually. I think I like a lot of fragrances from this house. I feel like I want to own the whole collection, and that's just me. Now, this is Royal Sapphire. I would not say it's an everyday fragrance. This is a nice night out fragrance. This is a nice date night scent. This is a nice, this is a perfect date night scent. This I would not wear to work just because, I mean, but you can wear your fragrances anywhere. Don't quote me on that. But I just feel like with this kind of fragrance, it's, such, it's so special. It's like, I would save this for special occasions. I would use this to build memories. If I travel somewhere, I'd want to use this fragrance to you know, remind myself. So it's not a fragrance I want to wear every day. It's a fragrance that if I wear, I would want to remember a certain, you know, Royal Sapphire is Royal Sapphire. It screams luxury, it screams expensive, it screams you live in Monaco. <laughs> nah, this is gorgeous. I love a lot of perfumes from this house. I love Royal Sapphire. I love the Peregrina. I think the most popular one is a Peregrina or something that's what's called. They have blue heart, they have um covered wood, covered wood. I don't even know. They have so many nice fragrances. It's extra the perfume, so you know that it's going to last long. Obviously, this is 50 ml and the bottle is also stunning. I think a little goes a long way. You don't need to overspray this one. It's not a beast mode, but it's definitely definitely a fragrance that people love is very sexy i would put this in the same class as side effects from initial i feel like they evoke the same emotions from me it's a sexy fragrance and that's why i think that this is a perfect date light scent especially in this weather <laughs> if you're trying to go on a date in the springtime now that we're in may better wear this fragrance when you're going to meet your man in this month this month of may is a very special month so don't sleep 
it can get a little bit powdery in my opinion a little bit a tad bit powdery but i still really like i think there's something a bit spicy there's something that reminds me of the middle east the kind of fragrances from the middle east but yeah that's the main royal sapphire and that my loves brings us to the end of this video if you like this video if you enjoyed watching it please make sure you give it a thumbs up uh, share this video to your friends and your family subscribe if you're new to my channel if you have not subscribed make sure you subscribe follow me on instagram my name is opsi underscore p and i'm gonna see you in my next one